Hey Collective, it's your girl Mermaid Prophetess bringing you another Collective reading. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful Divine Masculines, my beautiful Divine Feminines. Let's see what's going on with the Collective Energy today. Okay, energy is past, future, and present. Please take what resonates and discard the rest. Alright, so let's see what's going on. Okay, we got incarcerated. Okay. Ooh, that knocked the card off the deck. Okay, we have, what we have is an energy exchange. You want something and I need something. Okay. All right, so that's paired up with incarcerated. Let's see what else. That one come out. The karmic. Okay. All right, spirit, let's put, what goes with the karmic. Come together, reconciliation, soul contract. Okay, so there's a soul contract here as well. It's not be trapped. We have sex shop. Came out with fed up in reverse. Ooh. Okay. Oh, let's get some shuffling here. Here. We got receipts. Hiding true feelings. Okay. Let's see what's on the baseline here. We got a great actor putting on a show. Okay. What do we got here? Marrying for money. Okay, so somebody's in it for selfish reasons here. So we can put a card in here that doesn't belong. All right. Let's see. One second. All right. We got moving. And we'll take one more here. Sheesh. We got magnetic attraction. We got low IQ in reverse. Okay, somebody wiping it up. And we got expecting a new beginning. Okay. Child, this energy here. Okay. This energy here is whew, something else. Let's get into this. All right, so... Let's use this deck. Oh, sure. Okay, so it's just that card is split. All right. Okay. So we're incarcerated, and what we have is an energy exchange. You want something, I need something. This works for us. Somebody got trapped in a situation here, okay? So there could be a divine masculine that's trapped with a karmic, because I do got a karmic soul contract here as well. Okay, and he feels trapped, anchored down. This divine masculine. It's like this karmic is using him, especially with marrying for money here. Great actor, somebody was fake. We have the karmic and come together. Okay, so we have a divine masculine that chose a karmic. He chose to be with a karmic and now he feel like he's in jail? Child, okay. Sex shop and fed up in reverse. So we have an overindulgence. Somebody, it's like this divine masculine, he could have refused to change. Divine feminine and you got fed up. We are hiding true feelings and receipts. We're hiding true feelings, receipts, and great actor being here. So it's like this divine masculine met the real person he met the real person. He met the real karmic. The karmic was hiding who she was with putting on a show. She was hiding her intentions. Okay? Hiding true feelings, but somebody got receipts, baby. Okay. Child, what is going on here? Okay, it's like this divine masculine, he's wisening up with low IQ in reverse. 
wants to get out of this situation, but he's trapped. Sounding like karmic justice. Sounding like this masculine got served karma. Had a soul contract with Divine Feminine with this Gemini energy on this lover's card. But he was inconsistent, operating out of lust. Operating with his lower chakras. Okay? With this Knight of Wands energy. Now he's awake. And look, he want to move forward towards Divine Feminine. Uh-uh, baby. <laughs> uh-uh, baby. <laughs> Keep that karma. Get that karma. Learn that lesson. See, because if you would have learned that lesson when Divine Feminine was warning you, you wouldn't be where you are today. Spirit, what's incarcerated in this karmic letting this Divine Masculine what's really up? Because he knows what's really up here with what we have as an energy exchange. You want something and I need something. And what's crazy here is this karmic is openly admitting Divine Masculine wanted something. And this karmic needs something. So she will go to any extent to get what it is that she wants. This divine masculine thought this was what he needed. <laughs> he thought this was what he wanted. He was confused. He was under confusion, stuck with the devil, baby, in this soul contract with the karmic. Strong Capricorn energy cut in the deck. In this soul contract with the karmic. Let's talk about it. We got the karmic. We got to come together, we got a soul contract, and we got the devil. So this divine masculine has waken up to the fact that he is stuck with the devil. Yeah. With that seven of cups, that talks about confusion, it talks about delusion. Could even be some spell work going on here, but we're going to see. <laughs> and it came out anyways. Okay, so we got the devil. Strong Capricorn energy. So yeah, this divine masculine recognized that he's trapped with the devil. Incarcerated, the devil. He tied himself to the devil, literally. Thought he was going for what he wanted. Thought the grass was greener on the other side, but found out the grass was greener because it was fake with this great actor energy showing up. Yeah, thought it was a wish fulfillment, nine of cups. Oh, <laughs> got hit with the devil instead. Mm, whole little tink tink baby now he didn't give that cup of love to the divine feminine gave it to the karmic and now he don't want it no more oh you don't want it no more <laughs> oh goodness divine masculine you don't want it no more baby but this is yours this is what you chose this is a karmic soul contract yeah so this divine masculine went back to whoever this karmic is with the eight of cups in reverse seven of wands and the judgment, five of wands. Yeah, hangman. Hey okay, so he's enlightened here. With the judgment and the seven of wands, this divine and the eight of cups even being here, that lets me know that this eight of cups was upright at one point. This divine masculine created a lot of conflict in divine feminine's life. You are not so divine masculine right now. You're in your karmic contract, learning your lesson, okay? You'll come out enlightened, but you're gonna learn this lesson, or you're gonna keep learning this lesson, Divine Masculine, because that's how karmic contracts work. When you're done, when you actually learn the lesson and awaken, you'll be, he'll be in this hangman energy, Pisces energy. He'll be awakened, he'll be enlightened. But until then, this is what you attach yourself to the devil. So this Divine Masculine created a lot of conflict with Divine Feminine literally manufactured conflict with this judgment scorpio sagittarius energy being next to the seven of wands he made a judgment call to shut divine feminine out of his heart out of his energy and he did that by creating a lot of fights a lot of discords a lot of conflicts arguments for no reason arguing about small things, arguing about food, arguing about laundry, argument of arguing about timing, just arguing about things that are so insignificant. Divine Feminine, you could have asked this Divine Masculine, what's wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? You're arguing about things that are so small, trying to make Divine Feminine feel guilty about recognizing that he was the devil in the home, in the union and allowing outside influence as well. It's like Divine Feminine, this Divine Masculine was letting outside people make judgment calls in y'all union. With this judgment card being next to the Seven of Wands, 
he decided to go to this to this karmic. He could have pushed you out by turning into this devil energy, this karmic energy. And you had no choice but to choose yourself and get out. Or he could have actually left you out in the cold and went back to this karmic. So this was somebody this divine master has been with before, whoever this karmic is. And now these people are in serious conflict because look, we still under the devil. This divine masculine is going through hell. I just heard pits of fire. Okay, he getting a wake up call. <laughs> Not you getting a wake up call, divine man. Say, look, shut out his divine feminine and his queen of cups energy. All you did was love on his divine masculine. All you did was show him grace, show him peace. Show him unconditional love, helped him, introduced him to new things, increased his spiritual connection, told him to trust his intuition. Mm, mm, mm. Told him about this karmic. What else? Give me more on the devil spirit. Yeah, look at this. The fool in reverse. This, oh my God. Strong Aries energy with the de with the devil in the food. Capricorn Aries. Oh, them two signs you don't want to see together. This is hell. This is hell. He is trapped in hell. Look at this. Incarcerated. Caged up. Losing his mind. Losing his sleep. Scratching his head. He can't even figure out how to get out of this situation. You wanna talk about trapped? Incarcerated, he's trapped. Look at this devil energy, chained up, trapped. The fool in reverse, he can't take a leap forward nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, he's done. Mm. Look at this, nothing but fights. Knight of Swords? Nothing but fights, arguments, and he losing every last one of them. Oh, he got set up. Oh, he got set up. Ooh, wee. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. But that full energy in reverse, next to the devil upright, underneath incarcerated, this is somebody who's trapped and can't move. This is my masculine is trapped in hell, period. Look, burden. Ten of Wands, this talks about burdens. His back is about to break in this situation. Yeah, he going through hell. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy. He is going through hell with no benefits. He is not benefiting out of this situation, period. This divine masculine tied himself to the devil. Stuck in this karmic contract. Mm. You warned him, divine feminine. With this ten of wands, it's heavy on him. And he, it's like the devil won't, it's like he can't even get out. So usually if you get into the ten of wands, the universe will step in and break all that down. Because you can't stay like this for too long. But he's incarcerated. Trapped with the devil, the fool in reverse. He is stuck like this. Oh, this is heavy on him. And they angry. He's like small in this union. He is small in this union. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius. Angry. Oh, these people, all they do is fight. in the karmic win every single time. Oh, she got him good. She got him good. He's getting karma right now. Spirit, tell me about this. Uh, what is this that wouldn't come out? This ten of wands is full in this devil energy. Four of coins. She got him good. Trapped. Held tightly. Look at the four of coins. He can't move. We got multiple cards talking about not being able to move forward. Incarcerated. Can't move. This devil energy can't move. It's chained up. The full energy in reverse can't leap forward. He's stuck. 
10 wands on his back, burdens to the max, stuck. Four of coins held tightly. It's like the devil got a grip on him. All he can do is think about it. With his page of swords, he can't do nothing. This divine master is not getting any sleep. This divine master, he could start losing weight. This divine master is messed up. What else, spirit? Ooh. The star. Oh, he praying. He praying for a new beginning. With the higher fine energy, he could start going to church or want to go to church. He's praying to God. He's praying to the most high for a new beginning. Oh, he hoping and wishing and praying to get out of this energy. But he is trapped. Getting karma, major karma. This is karma because of what he did to divine feminine. What's the karma? We come together, six of swords. So this is where he decided to go towards. He went towards the karmic, the soul contract. Now he's rethinking this and that's all he could do. Child, divine feminine can't save you, divine masculine. Mm, mm, mm. Look at it. Seven of wands and the three of coins. He is stuck. And there are multiple people keeping him stuck. He could have made some kind of investment with this karmic too that also has him financially tied up. All he could do is see this. All he could do is see this with his hangman energy. That's it. And they caught him stuck fighting. Fighting for his life? Ooh, financially, this karmic got him wrapped up. This who you shut out Divine Feminine for? And now you regret this. Now you've been awakened, you wanna move forward with that two of wands energy. Pisces energy back at the bottom. Aquarius energy on the board as well. Give me more. What's this seven of wands with the three of coins? This could be multiple karmics here. Eight of coins. His finances are blocked. It's like there could be multiple karmics working together to keep this not so divine masculine. Oof, jeez. Financially strapped and stuck in this soul contract with this karmic. He can't move. He wanna be free, but he can't move. What's the eight of coins? Somebody spending money? Nine of wands. He's tired, exhausted. Divine feminine, he's thinking about you? Not Divine Masculine holding his head, thinking about Divine Feminine and his Empress energy. I just heard Divine Feminine like, I would have never went through this. I wouldn't be going through this if I was with Divine Feminine. It's like he's trapped. All he could do is like, it's like all he's doing is pouring out energy with this eight of coins between this seven of wands and this nine of wands. He could be sick. Tired out. This karmic is working him out. And they fight and argue all the time. And there are multiple karmics involved in this. Wow. Earth energy is here, look, and the Empress came out. He wanna come towards you. This Divine Masculine thought this karmic was an Empress, and she turned out not to be with this Nine of Swords. So this Divine Masculine thought the karmic was Divine Feminine. Turned out that this is a devil. This is not a divine union. This is not a divine soul contract. 
This was a karmic contract. It's like this karmic was pretending to be an empress with this great actor here as well. This karmic was pretending to be an empress. And now this divine masculine got himself caught up and is in deep regret. He's in turmoil. This is like mental breakdown. I'm hearing like screaming to the top of his lungs. He thought, and now he sees he invested in the wrong person. Nothing's coming out of this. Except stress. Child, I cannot. So this is a fake empress. So divine feminine, this karmic want to be you. Could have even have been impersonating you at some point. What's sex shop and fed up in reverse? Because she got him. She trapped him good. Look at that. I'm not surprised. The high priestess. Pisces energy. There could have been some kind of sex magic or something here going on. Divine Feminine, you could have expected some kind of, you could have suspected some type of spell work or something like that. With Fed Up in Reverse, it's like he couldn't get enough. I'm trying to figure out what sex shop with Fed Up in Reverse and what comes to clarify this is the high priestess. He couldn't get enough. So we got spell work involved here as well. So we got an occultist. I don't know why I feel like this occultist is in this karmic's family. Or in this not so divine masculine's family, strong Pisces energy. Again, I'm just saying that because I've seen Pisces energy multiple times. What's, hold on. What's the high priestess? with his sex shop and it's fed up in reverse. Somebody's an occultist. Pain man. Strong Pisces energy. Ooh, Pisces taking over. Pisces, Pisces. Somebody could be a psychic here. Star seed, earth angel. Somebody knew this. So this high priestess, the hangman hey man also talks about keeping somebody stuck, held back. So there was some kind of work done here to mess with this divine masculine's crown chakra to keep this divine masculine stuck coming back for more. Damn. Someone's done in the dark here. Hermit energy. Somebody could have been doing candle magic or something like that. Strong Virgo energy here as well. What's the, uh, this card's just falling out. Let's see. What's the high priestess with the hangman? It's like a clunk of cards. Pisces Cancer Energy. You can't tell me a Pisces isn't involved here. We got Pisces Cancer Energy here. We got Pisces Energy, Pisces Energy, Scorpio Cancer Pisces here with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio Cancer Pisces here with the King of Cups. You can't tell me a Pisces isn't involved in this. Somebody got strong Pisces placements. Yeah, so there was some kind of spell work being done here with the moon. High Priestess, Hangman, and the moon. A lot of major arcanas. We're talking about major spell work. Could be moon magic or something like that. Moon magic, candle magic. This was this was done in the dark to, to keep up some kind of illusion. Yeah, this karmic was fake. A fake empress. Seven of Cups talks about illusions, delusions confusion the moon talks about illusions things being done in the dark fear anxiety this of our masculine is stuck in anxiety stuck in fear divine feminine we saw you in that queen of cups energy take on the king of cups here this is your counterpart here this divine masculine but he had to, he had to go through this karmic cycle this was faded because he had to learn a karmic lesson because he was just going to keep going back, doing the same thing. So now he's stuck, trapped with the devil. This is a lot of illusions and delusions that was created by an actress.
Oh, this is a lot of spell work. With a high priestess, the moon, hangman energy. This is all about mind control. This divine masculine could have became very emotionally abusive to divine feminine. It's like he never shut out whoever these people are. There are multiple karmics here. They're just in the dark. With the moon being here and the high priestess being here, this is in the dark. And not to mention this hermit energy keeps showing up. This is in the dark. Multiple people working together here. Somebody's in a cultist. Divine masculine trapped in hell. Five of swords. A lot of fights, a lot of arguments, a lot of jealousy. Somebody didn't want this divine masculine to have anything good. Yeah, they wanted him. Somebody betrayed him here with this Ten of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. Eight of Cups. Somebody betrayed him, lied to get him to come back with this Eight of Cups. Four of Cups to get him to reject divine feminine or be bored is what I'm getting. So he doesn't see divine feminine the way that he used to. All he had to do was stop having sex with his karma. Cause this is also, this is mostly attached to sex magic. All this other spell work wouldn't have happened, wouldn't have taken place or been able to work without the sex magic. And he kept going back. So they were able to put layers and layers and layers of spell work on him. Somebody's jealous of divine feminine here with the five of swords and the empress being here next to each other. Somebody could have paid to do some type of spell work out of jealousy towards divine feminine. With that seven of wands being there, divine feminine, you could be very powerful. And this could have backfired on this karmic. This five of swords, a lot of lies was told here. Yeah, look at this. Betrayed three people. Three of cups. You could be seeing three, three. We got a three of pentacles, which talks about people working together. The three of cups, more people. So there's multiple karmics here. You could definitely be seeing three, three, three. The hermit energy in reverse. We are on hiding feelings and receipts. So this divine masculine is hiding there. He want to free himself. Virgo energy. That he want to fight for a new beginning with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands with divine feminine. Now that he didn't seen some receipts. Some receipts was exposed here, but he don't know how to do this. With this two of swords, talks about making a tough decision, but he's blindfolded. He don't know how to free himself, he's trapped. Even this devil on in this deck has a moon on his forehead. I got a moon here, a moon here, a moon here. Something about these full moons, something about the moon, something about moon magic. Layers and layers being done to this divine masculine. He wants to come out and free himself, but he's hiding this. He's seen, he's seen receipts. With receipts being here, he's seen receipts. He knows something. Okay. <laughs> but you stuck in hell, divine masculine. What else? What you know? You know the two of cups? So you know the truth about this karmic contract. You know you partnered with the wrong person. You seen receipts of how this partnership came to be. He could have talked to somebody too. This high font keeps showing up. Taurus energy. What about this two of cups and this hermit in reverse with these receipts? What do you know, spirit? Ten of Swords, the Betrayals, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
So he know that this was a betrayal. However, this, however he got into this karmic contract, it's like he know about all of the betrayals attached to this. Tell me about these betrayals. Oh, wow. Oh, cards trying to come out. What about these betrayals? The Tower and the Five of Wands. And the Death card. Queen of Swords. And the Eight of Swords in reverse. So he's wising it up. We know that. Low IQ in reverse, he's wising it up. So he sees the actors involved. He sees the parties involved. There's two other karmics involved. One of these karmics could be a female karmic that's attached to this masculine. You got multiple people jealous of divine feminine here with this five of swords in this empress. Do you even have somebody who went as far as to even try to put spell work on the vibe feminine, but you were too protected here with this seven of wands, nine of wands, you're guarded. I just heard guarded by your ancestors. You have some kind of power. Double time on the Scorpio energy with a death card in the tower. So something is gonna blow up here. It's like this divine man he can't hide his true feelings anymore. Something's gonna blow up here with the hermit in reverse. That also talks about coming outside, coming out. This is a huge fight that's going to lead to the end. With the five of wands in the tower, this is an explosive argument, an explosive situation that will ultimately free him. But he got a while to go. He gonna be stuck in hell for a long time. We didn't see this divine masculine even look like he's about to get free till we got towards the end. He could be strategizing, plotting his way out. It definitely is the end with the death card. Eight of Swords in reverse talks about freeing himself from being trapped in the Queen of Swords. Somebody could have came in and showed this Divine Masculine some receipts. This Queen of Swords. Some kind of explosive argument is taking place here. I mean, explosive. This is coming to an end. Child, what else? And then we'll get to another deck. Temperance energy, Sagittarius. So he's gonna be going through some kind of healing here. I just heard he wanna make peace with divine feminine. I'll take one more on the temperance on this deck. Hey, you guys, my apologies uh, that this video is being interrupted like this, but the video cut off and then it was lost in like iCloud space. Took me over two hours to recover the video, okay? And I haven't been able to tap back into that energy since. Okay, so I'm just gonna close it out. We're gonna pull what zodiac signs may be related to the video. And uh, that's it. Sorry, you guys. This is what, how it worked out. This is what the universe wanted, so it is what it is, okay? So let's see what signs are related to this. We have Aries. Okay, somebody can have a strong Aries placement, divine masculine can, divine feminine can, the karmics can. Okay, this, this divine masculine tra trapped himself in hell, child. Okay, we got Aries and Taurus energy. Somebody could be an Aries Taurus customer as well. What else? Gemini. Oh, we didn't order. Sheesh. Somebody could be a uh, Taurus Gemini cusper as well. Okay. Somebody could have strong Aries Taurus or Gemini placement. Like, we is in order. Okay, one, two, three. Definitely in sequence. Okay, we got Pisces energy. Okay. Pisces is number 12. Pisces goes before Aries. If we're looking at this in a circle, wow, this is like in sync. So somebody could be a Pisces Aries customer. Okay. What else? Two more signs. That is crazy. Aquarius. 
Aquarius is before Pisces. So we got the 11th house, the 12th house, the first house, second house, and the third house here. We're still in order. Somebody could be an Aquarius Pisces cusper. One more? This is crazy, actually. Hold on. Too many? All right, one more. That's crazy how this is falling out. I've never seen anything like it. Like we are literally, like we're in order. One more, one more. Stop playing with me. I know this isn't Capricorn. Capricorn with Sagittarius right behind it? Get out of here. So Capricorn, 10th house. Aquarius, 11th house. Pisces, 12th house. Aries, 1st house. Taurus, 2nd house. Gemini, 3rd house. And Sagittarius had the audacity to be behind Capricorn. So we are literally in order. Literally. We have Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. This is crazy. So there could be a lot of divine masculines that are that have trapped themselves in hell or trapped themselves to hell to a devil. Because this is like in too much order here. Somebody could be a Capricorn Aquarius cuss, an Aquarius Pisces cuss, a Pisces Aries cuss, a Aries Taurus cuss, a Taurus Gemini cuss. We even had Sagittarius behind Capricorn, which is the month before, which is the sign before Capricorn. Somebody could be a Sagittarius Capricorn cusper. Ooh, this is crazy. There could be some house placements here as well. Mm. All right, you guys. I'm just blown away at how this fell out because this is wild. This is wild. Divine masculine and divine feminine are here with this Aries Taurus energy here. Lovers is here with the Gemini energy. High Priestess energy is here as well with Pisces. Star energy with Aquarius. Devil energy here as well. Devil energy is healed with Aquarius. We have Sagittarius. I just thought of the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you guys, I feel like this Divine Masculine by a mess. It's like he's going to free himself. For a lot of you guys who this resonates with, you're going to end up with this divine mess and I don't care what you say. But this Gemini energy closing out here, it's like you guys going to end up together. Let's see. We're supposed to be closing out, child. These cards then caught my attention. Why is the, why is Gemini energy here? Why? Temperance, Ten of Pentacles, okay. and Justice. Why is Gemini energy? I'm asking why the lover's energy is here. We got healing energy, Sagittarius, Ten of Pentacles, and Justice. This could be a marriage. Okay. Long term. A divine union that comes comes back into the right path. Why is the uh, Empress and the Emperor here? Aries Taurus energy. Why? Ten of Swords and the Hermit. Virgo energy. Virgo's here on the bottom of this deck. So this emperor is in deep thought about what he did to divine feminine. He wants to come correct. Mm. 
Yeah, left divine feminine out in the cold. What's the outcome on that? Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Okay. Why the devil next to the star? Capricorn energy, 10th house next to the 11th house Aquarius. Why? Seven of Wands. So the devil is blocked. Okay, so Spirit did not want me to try to continue the reading because I wasn't able to tap back in and then I tried to close out with just the zodiac signs and now here I am continuing the reading. This is crazy. So this devil energy is blocked, is healed with this Aquarius energy here who rules the 11th house. Why is the high priestess here? Pisces, why is Pisces here? Six of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so this Divine Masculine, he's getting his priorities in order. He's moving forward to calmer waters. He's moving towards Divine Feminine. He's following his intuition, setting boundaries. Outcome? We already got outcome. Anything else? Last message? Page of Wands, we got a message coming to Divine Feminine. One more. Death energy, Scorpio energy. That's all about transformation. So this whole ordeal transformed this divine masculine. He will be reaching out to divine feminine with the eight of wands. For sure. You're his soulmate. He's going to try to talk about this heartbreak and what he did to you. He's gonna also talk to you about finding out how jealous these people are with the Three of Swords and the uh, Five of Swords. He's gonna talk about being trapped. My God. Okay, let me just finish this reading. <laughs> because it's like everything is happening here. Okay, with the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords. He's gonna talk about being trapped because that's the Eight of Swords together. He's gonna talk about them being jealous of his union with Divine Feminine, Lover's Energy, Gemini Energy with Divine Feminine, Empress, Taurus Libra. This Divine Manson wants to be with you. He's just coming when he's recovered with the Four Swords in reverse. He has healing that he needs to do. Okay, you guys, so I guess there were additional messages. I will catch you guys on the next one. I got stuff falling all over the place. Y'all have no idea how hard it was to get this reading out. Okay, you guys, see you in the next one. Bye.